Tai Chi lunch break. So a little 30 minutes of Tai Chi. Today we're gonna focus on the, um, we're gonna focus on the Yang uh, form um, that we started over the last few lessons. And we're gonna add one piece to it, which is the waving hands like clouds piece. Um, so we'll do a little bit more of our time devoted to that particular practice today. So, fix this little microphone set up here. Be able to stay stable. Okay. All right, so we're gonna take our little bit of time for a warm up. So take a moment, just roll your shoulders around your back. other direction with the shoulder rolls. I love the way these feel. <laughs> Helps relieve some tension from the day for sure. All right, so then we're gonna do a, what's called bridging heaven and earth. So we're gonna stretch one arm up and one arm down. You can add a little bit more of a side stretch to that, which feels really nice. One arm up, one arm down, little side stretch. Do a little movement in the waist. Just get yourself a little loose. Let your arms flow free. Turn at the waist. All right. So we're going to take one leg so that we've got toes on the floor and you may or may not be able to see the foot but, I, but I've got my heel in the air and then we're just going to spin around the ball of the foot so that we've got like a little bit of a circular motion going in the hip, the knee, and the ankle. It feels nice. Go the other direction. Give that a little shimmy and then we're going to do the other side so we're going to put the hip the knee and the ankle into a circular motion just kind of rolling around the ball of the foot and then go the other direction give that guy a little shimmy okay so we're ready <laughs> So we're going to start with the yang form that we've already done um, and we'll just move through all the way through grasping the bird's tail and i'll just name each little section if you are hitting this lesson first you can go back to all the tai chi sessions they're in a playlist called tai chi and they're also in the 30 minute practices playlist um, and so you can go and take a look at the earlier ones if you want to learn these moves in um, a little bit more isolation okay so we need a little bit of space, so I'm going to cuddle up over here to the corner um, as best I can. <laughs> and we're going to pause. Now, I want to come to a place that feels uh, nice and stable. So this is the earth posture. My feet are pointing forward, um, about hips distance apart. And I feel like I'm lengthening through the spine, so the back of my head and my tailbone kind of working away from each other a little bit. We're not undoing the curves of our spine, but we're just creating structure and support. In yoga, this pose is called mountain pose, right? So we're just gonna pause with that, get in touch with the breath. If you can do it, you're gonna keep the tip of your tongue on the roof of your mouth, just um, inside the teeth. Okay, so we're gonna pause, shifting the weight to the right, I'm gonna step out to my left. Allow 
myself to sink down. The arms are going to come up like they're coming over a ball. I'm going to turn, so I'm adjusting myself, pushing, bringing the right foot behind me, shifting the weight back. I'm preparing for uh, parting the horse's mane. So a little left step out and then come back. I'm going to turn that left foot a bit, right step out. It's kind of a diagonal step. Left step out. I'm going to step in halfway. The weight shifts back into my right leg. Then I'm going to turn white crane spreads its wings and turn back. So this is going to take me into the brush knee and push section and rather than go at a diagonal I'm going to step directly forward. So I'm going to step, brush my knee, push and then everything swings the other direction. Step, brush my knee, push. I might wind up slightly off your screen, hopefully not. One more step, brush your knee, push. Half a step in. We're going to strum our guitar. Now the toes come up on the left foot the weights in the right leg. I'm going to pull back a bow and then hug the planet that's stepping back to repulse the monkey. It's a little round in the arms here. One more. Now this next step is going to take me into my um, grasping the bird's tail sequence and I want to go at the diagonal towards this back side. So I'm going to come at the diagonal, a warding off move, reach up to grab the bird's tail, come to the diagonal near where I started, then I'm going to push my wrist okay? and then pull the ball onto my toe. Now I'm going to come around after pushing this mountain away to move to the opposite diagonal. So again, I'm going to step out to the diagonal, reach up to grasp that bird's tail, come down to the diagonal, and then push my wrist, pull the ball, and push. Now this is going to take us into the waving hands like cloud sequence, but what I'd like to do is go through what we just did twice more, just to kind of get that movement going in our bodies, so we really kind of feel the pattern up to now, because we're gonna do one more linear pattern and that's this waving hands like clouds. And then this form, when we come back to it next week, is gonna turn in all kinds of directions, okay? Or start moving in different directions. Okay, so let's come to the beginning and find our home on the planet. Tall, sturdy, earthy, <laughs> mountain pose. And my weight shifts to the right, and I'm going to step out to the left a bit, soft in the knees now for the rest of the practice. Now you can have very soft knees if your knees allow for it. Mine are a little bit, a little bit older. <laughs> so coming back, I'm preparing to step out to part the horse's mane. And then I'm going to step to the diagonal to part the horse's mane. And one more time. Half a step in, shift the weight, white crane spreads its wings. We're not in a hurry, but we're also not intentionally being slow. We're just finding a pace that sort of matches with the ability to stay present and feel each of these movements. Okay? So if you need to go a little slower, you can. If you want to go a little faster, cool. <laughs> Just stay present for and move smoothly. Strum in the guitar or the lute, as the case may be. And then we're going to step back to repulse the monkey. next step back is going to take me right into my bird's tail sequence. So I'm going to step out. I'm moving toward the diagonal and back. 
pushing the wrist and pulling that little chi, recall, right up onto my tiptoe as I push it away. It turns into a mountain coming around. Stepping out to the diagonal to the best I can, given my space re uh, restrictions. Pushing the wrist. Pulling the ball back. And pushing the mountain. And again, I'm gonna come around. And this puts me pretty close to where we're gonna start again for this um, last round through. Now, when we're done here, we're gonna go right into the waving hands like clouds, um, and we'll do that through a couple times and then put it all together. So finding your place of equal standing in Sanskrit, sama, um, he, which means to stand with equal power or equal balance. And then we're gonna step out. My arms are gonna come over the ball. And I'm preparing myself to step out to the diagonal to um, part my horse's mane. If you wanna be a little more colorful, you can say parting your wild horse's mane. <laughs> it's a little more colorful. Half a step in, and again, the white crane spreads its wings. You might keep your arms a little closer to your head. I like to be a little flouncier <laughs> and expressive because this is Tai Chi for help and not for fighting, but you can do it your way. and step back to repulse the monkey. And this is going to take me into my bird's tail sequence. So I'm stepping out, reaching up, Coming back, pushing the wrist, bring the ball up, and push it away. I'm coming around, stepping out to the diagonal, reaching up, pushing the wrist, pulling the ball back. Pushing the mountain and coming around. Now, we're going to make this shape with the hand. And when I was instructed to do this when I was in college, um, that he called it the crane. And I saw it as an animal. Can you see the crane? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. And then at one point I was like, maybe he meant construction crane. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> So we're gonna make a crane hand on one side, okay? So the crane hand is gonna go out like this, right? The other hand is gonna sweep up and then make a turn, right? So we're gonna have a crane hand and a turning hand and they're gonna go out in opposite directions, okay? So this is the warding off that gets us into the clouds. So we have the ball, we push the ball away, we're gonna come around. Okay, this hand's gonna turn into the crane. I shift the weight to the right. I'm gonna step out to the left to catch the tiger's tail. And then I'm gonna sweep back, okay? And this becomes waving hands like clouds. Now the movement in the arms goes like this. Paint the corner, okay? Come around. Paint the corner, come around paint the corner, come around, paint the corner, okay? So we're gonna keep the palms facing us until we get to the corner. We've turned as far as we can turn, then we're gonna paint down. It's like you're painting the wall, you know? Like paint the fence, remember paint the fence? <laughs> anybody see, <laughs> anybody see Karate Kid? Sort of like that, so we're gonna put, like flip the hand up, 
And then it's sort of like checking the bath water for a second. Then we're gonna paint the fence. Sort of like checking the bath water. We're just gonna let the palms kind of face us, paint the fence, okay? So that's the movement in the arms and the torso. The torso turns. Torso turns. Paint the fence. Torso turns. Paint the fence. Okay, when you get to the point where you can't turn anymore, you paint your fence and the, the arms switch places. Right on? The movement is that we're gonna take steps going towards our left. So we stepped out, okay? Then this hand sweeps across, that gets us into the paint the fence. Then as I turn, my weight is gonna shift to the left. I'm gonna step in, paint the fence. The weight's gonna shift to the right. I'm not stepping out yet because there's weight on that left leg. Then I'm gonna step out and paint the fence. Okay, the weight shifts, I turn, everything moves together. Weight shifts, I turn, everything moves together. Now, there's three of these in the form. I have been known to do 12 because <laughs> I think they're wonderful. We're gonna do one more time where we're gonna step out, okay? Cloud sequence, we've got stepping out um, to grasp the tiger's tail, three clouds stepping out to grasp the tiger's tail. So let's put that together all in one. We'll start from pushing the mountain, okay? And then we'll come around and we're gonna shift the weight over and step out, okay? And then we come across. Step in. So everything's gonna move together. So we're gonna step out. And step in. Step out. And step in. Okay, and then one more time, we're gonna step out to catch that tiger's tail. All right? So let's do that one more time and then we'll put it all together. So my bird's tail sequence, fall, push the mountain, coming around, coming around, I'm going to step out to catch the tiger's tail, waving hands like clouds. time. And then when I get all the way to the corner, I'm going to step out to catch the tiger's tail. And that's where we're going to stop for today. So we're going to go all the way back to the beginning and put that whole sequence together. And we're pretty well into a little over the halfway mark with this form with these pieces. Turn the toes forward and settle ourselves in. So this is that moment to become peaceful. And then I'm going to shift the weight to my right and step out a little to the left. Let the weight sink in, arms come over the ball. I'm going to turn a little to the left. Turn a little on the right, bring the weight to the right so I can step out to part the horse's mane. And step out. And step out. Half a step in now. White crane spreads its wings. Turn your palm, we're going to drop this arm all the way around and brush knee and push. 
come back, turn left, brush knee and push. Come back, turn right. One more time, brush knee and push. Half a step in, strum your guitar or your lute. And we're gonna step back to repulse the monkey. So we open up, hug the planet, step back. Open up to hug the planet, step back. Open up to hug the planet, step back. We got one more to go. Open up to hug the planet, step back. This is gonna take me to my bird's tail. So I'm gonna step out to the diagonal, going up, grasp the bird's tail, come back. We're going all the way to past the hip, and then we're gonna push the wrist. Pull the ball onto your toe and push the mountain away. Now we got to come around the other direction. So we're going to turn. <laughs> yep. Step into the diagonal as far as you can go. Reach up to grab the bird's tail. Come down. Push your wrist. Pull the ball onto your toe. Push the mountain. So now we're coming around, and this is going to take us into our waving hands like clouds. So first make the crane, and step out to catch the tiger by the tail. Scoop across, okay, change hands. So we're going to take the weight and everything to the left, step in, change hands. The weight and everything to the right, step out and change. The weight, everything to the left, step in. One more time, the weight, everything to the right, step out. You're gonna do your best here. So again, we're gonna shift everything to the right. We're gonna make the crane and then step out to catch the tiger by the tail. All right, so that is the form that we're going to do one more time, at least one more. You might have time to do two more times through. So we're coming back to the beginning. Find your mountain, your steady place. Take a deep breath, let go of everything that's happened before this moment. Weight shifts into the right. We're going to step out just a little to the left. Sink into it, arms come over the ball. Gonna shift so we can turn a little on the left foot. Shift so we can turn a little on the right foot. We're gonna hold the ball so we can step out, part the horse's mane, and then come back. And step out to part the horse's mane, and then come back. Don't worry if it's perfect, it doesn't matter. <laughs> step out to part the horse's mane, take a step in. White crane spreads its wings. I just want to be elegant and smooth and feel the movement. This is going to take us into our brush knee and push sequence. So we're going to brush our knee and push, turn left, brush your knee and push, turn right, <laughs> brush your knee and push, take a half a step in, strum your guitar. Stepping back to repulse the monkey four times. We're gonna hug, step back, hug, <laughs> step back, hug. One more time, step back, hug. And then as we step back, we're gonna go into grasping the bird's tail. Step to the diagonal, reach up to grab the bird by the tail and then stroke the feathers. Push your wrist, pull the ball onto your toe, push the mountain. We're coming around just to the beginning place. And then we're going to shift the weight, hold the ball, step diagonally, reach up to grab the bird's tail, come to your left, push your wrist. Ball on your toe, <laughs> push it away, come around, come around, we're going to make the crane step
step out, bring the hands across, and step in. Okay? Waving hands like clouds now. This is our second one. And again, we're not in a hurry, but we don't have to be overly slow. It's just whatever time seems appropriate. The yang form is not the wu form. It moves a little bit faster. Not as slow as some. So we're gonna step out to catch that tiger by the tail. I'm not sure that's a good idea in general though, y'all. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do it through one more time and then we'll do a couple of stretches. So finding your steady place. Let everything go. Whatever happened before is not happening now. Okay. So we're going to step out. The arms are going to come up over the ball. We're going to bring ourselves around so we're ready for our horse's mane. Step out. Step out. Step out. Half a step in, turn, white crane spreads its wings. We're gonna brush our knee and push, come around, brush your knee and push, come around, brush your knee and push, take a half a step in, strum your guitar. Pull back the bow to hug the planet. So we're stepping back to repulse the monkey yogis. Okay, we're gonna step back. This takes us to our bird's tail sequence. Go to your left diagonal. Reach up, grab the bird's tail, come back. All the way past your hip, push your wrist. Pull the ball onto your toe, push it away, return into the center. Okay, same idea to the right. Step to your right diagonal, reach up, grab the bird's tail, push your wrist, pull the ball onto your toe, push it away. Coming back where we came from to the start. We're gonna take the crane and step out to catch the tiger. Coming back around, our crane turns into a painting the fence, and then we're waving hands like clouds. Everything comes together, okay? We turn the waist, everything moves together. Turn the waist, feet and hands move together. One more time, turn at the waist, Everything moves together. Everything moves together. We're gonna to step out one more time to catch our tiger. Now that's gonna turn into our next move, but not today. <laughs> so for today, we're gonna to take a nice side stretch. And then another one on the other side. We're gonna fold forward. I like a wide angle, but you can do any angle that works for your hamstrings, including bent knees. Oh, oh, that feels good. <laughs> and we're gonna come to a horse stance. Oh, give that a little jiggle. gonna do a little shake. Just shake everything. Oh. Gonna shake the arm and then shake the other arm. See if you can shake your leg without falling over. <laughs> shake your leg. <laughs> yeah. oh. All right and then we're gonna come back to that original place, that earth posture. Hit the form we're not quite done with so it hasn't brought us around but we'll make a fist with the right hand to represent strength. We'll take the left hand open in the palm to represent friendship. 
bring that thumb in to represent humility and then we'll bow to each other. Thank you for joining me and for the yogis, namaste. <laughs>